Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. We're doing one of these every single day in the month of June and so I hope that you've enjoyed them. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you a quick tutorial or actually more like a walkthrough on how I created this image right here. I made this image back in 2016 and a lot of people still ask me how it was created and so I wanted to show you the process of what I did. So you see all of these layers here, I got lots of layers. And so I am just going to uh, start turning these layers off and then we'll just build up and see what we, what we created. So here's how I started off. I've got a picture of me um, holding my wife's uh, arm and hand. Uh, just took a picture in the living room, nothing really fancy here. And then I cut that out and put it on a black background. So this is, this is kind of the, the starting point. Uh, two arms interlocked and uh, just cutting them out. Then what I did is I went outside and I took a picture of a uh, log that was on fire. So here's a, um, a picture of some wood that's already been burning. And I took pictures of it while it was burning as well. And I uh, just took lots of pictures, put some lighter fluid on it, uh, burn it, watch it burn, take some pictures, get some nice textures. And then uh, you, you can use it for this project or you can use it for other projects. It's always good to go outside and take uh, your own pictures and then save them. Uh, for whenever uh, you want to get creative and make something like this. So here's what I did. I essentially took uh, those those burning images of, of that wood, and I essentially just put them right over top of the arm on the bottom. So for example, you can see right here, uh, I just put it right over top of the arm, kind of clipped it to the arm, and uh, just masked out where it doesn't need to go. And then of course had to put it right up here on the top on the on the uh, hands as well, on the fingers as well. Uh, but you can see that's really all that's going on. If you zoom in, you can just see that you know you've got that wood texture. Um, going right over top of the skin. Uh, I didn't do any type of warping or anything like that. I just kind of placed it right over the skin. Now, um, what I wanted to do to get that special effect on it is I would start changing these blend modes uh, to soft light or overlay. And I think I did overlay on most of them. So overlay there on the bottom, you can see how it interacts with the skin down here and then overlay on the fingers up here. You can see how it makes them nice and dark and adds a lot of red uh, hues to it when you add that brown on top of a, a pink skin like that. Uh, but just adding the overlay and sometimes it was the soft light. I think I did soft light for this part right here. Yeah, so soft light on the fingers up here and uh, just working on different uh, ways to, to blend these wood textures into the skin. I think I changed this one to soft light, yeah. So you can see just changing the soft light, changing it to overlay, you can experiment with them. Sometimes color burn works pretty good if you tone it down a little bit, uh, but you can try different, uh, different blend modes and uh, see how it interacts with the skin until you get something right. That's kind of what I do is I just kind of trial and error uh, everything until it looks kind of cool. Uh, but once I had this hand right here completely done, the bottom hand, then I was going to start working on the top hand, which I wanted it to be a bright white. And so what I did with that one is uh, I just essentially painted a lot of white glows. And you can see I've got a group in here uh, with a color dodge blend mode. If you've watched any of my tutorials, you know that I use the color dodge blend mode on the group uh, quite a bit. So you can see how that really makes them uh, glow and uh, stand out here. So just adding a lot of white and then changing it to a overlay or a color dodge and just making that skin really bright and uh, and popping out like that. I did mask out, you know, where these dark fingers were at. So I did use some layer masks. Uh, but for the most part, I wanted this skin to be nice uh, and white and glowing. Then um, I added some uh, smoke in the background. So just some pictures of smoke that I've taken in the past, added some more smoke here on the bottom and then also on the top and just added some color adjustments to those. And then after I had um, all of this done, then I wanted to add a little bit of fire, like some flames going on this, uh, this bottom arm right here. So all of these pictures that I've taken of fire, um, I just uh, essentially just put a screen blend mode on them and uh, that works out pretty well. So if, for example, this picture right here of fire on a black background, uh, you just wanna put that in place and then change it to screen and then it looks pretty good. So we've got all of this fire down here at the bottom and uh, overlaying or screening over top of this, this arm. And then the last thing I was gonna do is just add a little bit of color grading towards the end and I didn't really do much at all. 
um, just to get some nice blues up here and some nice yellows down at the bottom and uh, get that color, uh, the, the, uh, the com composite colors working uh, together. So that's pretty much all I did for this one. Uh, just took a picture of uh, two hands holding each other and then took a picture of a piece of wood on fire and did some overlays, added some flames and smoke and did a little bit of color grading and that was that. And so not really a long project, uh, but what I would recommend is doing trial and error. You know, just take some pictures and put them over top of it, change your blend modes and see what happens. And a lot of times it's just, just luck. It's just an accident until something looks right. Uh, but guys, this is what I was able to create uh, using my own photography. I encourage you to get out there and take your own pictures as well and see what you guys can create. But guys, that's all I got for today's tutorial. I hope that you've been enjoying it, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow morning for the next one in this series. Thanks, guys.